Okay, halacha. We have a lock is a mace is kainas mekaimai. A mace is he, he acquires the place he, he dies. You can't move him, you can exhume him. This is where he is, right? This is where he is. What happens if the person wasn't buried per se? It just, akroi ba'alma, he ended up there. Usually, when you bury a person, you bury a person in a graveyard. You bury him in a base island, you bury him in a cemetery. Say one day you're, you're, you're digging in your backyard, you know. Or you were a kid, you were digging your way to China with, with you know, with a, a big a soup spoon. You're going to dig your way to China to get through, and you find the mace. You find the mace. So the halacha then is, we say the mace was, was buried there by Akroy. It was just buried there, happenstance, within zin to be moved, within zin to be moved. And you, when you move it, yeah, he's kind of the. He's not kind of, but you have to take all the this, uh, the offer to, uh, that's called fusasai. You know, and the, 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 the we're going to see it means the place where the, he the body fluid could go into. That's the din. That's the din. And then we're going to get into something a little more difficult. COVID, it was a, they moved a lot of bodies back to, to bury him. And that's the yeah, when they, when they bury here, they bury on the smach to, to go ahead and move. They usually, a person buried, they bury on that smach. But if you're not buried in that smach, it's it's not it's not pasha. It's not posh again. If you bury a person for the sake of being buried in that place, that's where they stay. Shum take for us on. That's that's where they are. That's that's where they're buried, right? But this is case akroy ba'alma. Usually, if a person is buried in a field, the can be buried there without the rishus of the yard in the first place. But no, but let's say you go to your backyard that you bought the house from a guy and you have two tombstones over there. Zicha, you know, again, a guy is different than uh, than what on discussion We're discussing a yid. So now hamaytzi meis batchila. If Maishab Kedarkai, so be medayik the words. You find the mace, Bithila, it's a question whether you're Gorus at Bithila, means Bithila means it wasn't known at all. It wasn't known at all, this place. It wasn't known that there was a mace there. Maishkiv, it was lying down in the way that you go ahead and and uh, Kedarkai, the normal way that you bury a Jew. We'll see the Gemara. The Allah is night law. You can it take, you take him. You, can, you want to clear the area. You want to make sure that Eretz, this is an area to throw. You want to make sure there's no Shiloh about what about, about Kahanim being Tame or in general, oil regalim, not only Kahanim, people oil the regal, you know, people have to know that that, that be Tahar. So therefore, we want to cleanse Eretz Israel, night law. You move him, you take him. The S to Sasai, or you could or, or you take him with Fisasai. But the Mayak Mivai Sesses with the Mayak, guys. Lush Mivai Sesses with the Mayak. Literally wallowing in your blood, right? So we'll see the lashon whether it's tfusa or tfusa. Okay, now that's one mace. Shnayim, if you find a second, shnayim, you find a second mace, and it's again, it's in the same same way. You find the second mace, next to him? right? It could be next to him. It could be next to him. Yeah, nightlin, you take it as well. You could take the mace. That's tfusasan, and you could take what the surrounding what earth around it. However, matzah shleisha. If you find three, then im yesh bein zelazeh midalat amis ad shmaina. If you have from there between four rabbis to the shmaina, harizeh shkunas kavrois. This is a graveyard, and therefore, what you cannot go ahead and 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 move it. Now to understand this a little better, look at your phones. I sent out I sent out a a picture. I sent out a picture. This is based upon a Gemara in in Masech the Baba Basra, and this is the way they they would bury people. This is the way they would bury in caves. Okay, where it says burial chamber, it's an area that's four by eight. It's eight long, and it's four wide. It's eight long and it's four wide. So in the area of four, you get three mason. In the area of eight, you get six mason. You get six mason. And in between there is what there is a, a chutzer that was six by six. So if you would find between one and three, you find one to three mason, there in an area of four to eight amis, there's as far to say you're a burial chamber. This is what this is a, a base kvaris. Now you have to be boidic 20 amis in, in around the perimeter. Where do you get 20 amis for got from guys? Eight plus six is 14. Plus eight is twenty-two, right? Going going north to south, guys. So the reason why you say twenty is because you chayish for what for a nafel. 
perhaps why a nafel was uh, buried there. A nafel does not need such a, a large area. A nafel does not need such such a large area. So that that would explain this picture. Would go ahead and and, and explain. Right. Reb Moshe, I'm saying share. Okay, I'm in the middle of share. So it's right here. Finish. Okay, so so this 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 would explain the, the the upcoming Gemara. So now, what we're concerned about is once you go ahead and find this, so it's not a mace that was buried what haphazardly. It was a mace. This is what this is a cemetery, and this is where they buried normally, and this is the place where what you should not go with what and and move completely. This is the way it's supposed to be, and this is the way it's supposed to be. So so let's see it over again now. And we had we saw the the dimensions in, in that picture. It's going to be what is It's going to be what a, a cemetery. And boy, the kimen olahalan esrim ama. You're going to check from there. Invite that you're going to check twenty amis, right? Because again, we're doing the math, going we had, we had eight, six, eight, which is twenty two, and then and then we say that we limit off because of the possibility of nefalim. That's what Taisa speaks out over here. Now matza echad b'soif esrim ama. If you find one at the end of 20 Amis, let's say you do find, good. And what do you do? You have to check from that one on another 20 Amis. Why? Because, in other words, why don't we say if you found one at the end of 20, it should have the din of a haphazard what burial, and it should have the din that you take the, you can exhume the body and take the, the, the earth around it. Why don't we say that? And this is why we brought this in the first place. Because it's a very, very high new timer, guys. So Glyn Mudava means there's this very good um a, a, a hypothetical what's uh, circumstantial evidence, right? But high new timer, there's a really good reason, Ladava. Because if it wasn't Raglayan Ladava and you only found that one, if you wasn't Raglayan Ladava, guys, and you only found that one, you would be able to exhume the body and take the earth with it. But since what? It was at the 20, at the end of an established uh, base, base oil arm as a result of the four, three bodies found in the perimeter of the area of four by eight. So we're going to give it to Chumar, Reglayim Ledava, of what, of being what? Of being uh, part of the graveyard. And this, Reglayim Ledava is why this pops in here. Because we have by Tumas HaTahoyim, we said that that Reglayim Ledava, that the Tame Tame, so we're giving him because Reglayim Ledava bring it in. Okay, so now, the Mishnah was very, very meduyik. Guys, let's go back to the beginning of the Mishnah. I might see mace, but chila. Now the word but chila may be there, may not be there. But I might see mace. Moishiv kedarkoi. If those, if it fills those, 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 those components, then you have a loch of what of of a akroi, and you can move it, guys. So now let's see. The Mishnah, the Gemara is going to be daik. The Mishnah like a pasuk. You're going to be daik word by word. I'm Rav Yehuda. Matzah prat lematsui. Matzah, you happen to find it prat lematsui that it was found, meaning it was an established grave. If a matzah is established grave, then nothing to talk about. Kidarkoi, what does kidarkoi mean? Prat the sheroi shay munich ben yakaisav. Prat that its lay his head is. Uh, I I skipped right. Prat liyoshe if it's sitting, right? Kidarkoi, what is kidar? The mushkov. Okay, okay, one more time. I'm Rabbi Yehuda. I'm Rabbi Yehuda. It says matzah prat le matzui mace right matzah mace prat le harug prat le harug. Guys, horig would mean that it's it's chaser, it's missing something. So I saw pshat, it's missing its dam. In other words, hasteless. If a person was not murdered, uh, the the, the it, it would be considered that you're not chaser because your blood was inside you at the time of your patira. But if you were murdered, the blood would seem to go out there. That's one pshat. Or chaser that he's missing something. Now that could be a Jew also. Those two dinim, Matsui could be a Jew, Hori could be a Jew. The next, mushka, right? If it has to be what mushka. If you find it lying, sitting, because sitting, no Jew is buried sitting, guys. Jews are buried horizontal, not sitting. With his head between his thighs. So those last two dinim are, again, you would be able to exhume the body simply because why? You know, they're not Jews. The early halach is the one Matsui and the halach of Ad Harug is speaking about a Jew. Right? So Tani Ula Bar Mace shechaser, a mace that's chaser. I learned chaser is damai. Ain't let fusa. You don't have to take it. In other words, right? You can move the body, but you don't have to take the fusa. Because and Taisa seems to say it's a lachlamish. He doesn't doesn't understand why. 
He doesn't understand why this would be different. Yeah, yeah. Go look, look at the Taisus guys. Prat lo harig. Because I'm reading the Samech. The Meish. Prat lo harig. The Meish shechaser. So therefore, this Meish. This is explaining that din of Prat lo harig is being explained by the Meish that died. Shechaser ain't la tfusa of ain't la shkunas kavres. It doesn't have a din tfusa that you remove the 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 earth around it. Nor does it have a din right of a cemetery where you can exhume the body. Meish shechaser ain't la shkunas kavres. Kasha lehavim lama. Maybe it's Allah Mishinai. And and I the rush seems to say that what well, that is Vada Allah Mash Mishinai. Okay, anyway. The Khalhani and the last two. Khalhani doesn't mean all of them. It only means the last two. The case where you find it sitting or you find the head between the legs, my taima, why lay aminon, dilma oivit kichavim, who maybe it's a guy, and therefore it doesn't have the lush the, the 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 din of Tfusa and and uh, the shkunars, even if you found them in an area four by eight, in those ways, it would not be what it would be, you'd be able to exhume the body. Okay, now we said all these halachis is stated by what by a mace, guys. That what that was not known, but chila, you never knew it was a mace. Again, the, if you know this is a base island, this guy is buried here. Even if it's not a base island. There's a tzia in there, and you know this guy was buried there. This place, you can't move it. You can't exhume the body. This is speaking where it's far to say that it was Dibak Roy. And generally, people are buried in graveyards, not buried in backyards. So therefore, if it's found in a place that's not, not a normal place to be found, the Sada, or in a graveyard, you're going to say that what? That you, you should move, you, you can move the body. Okay, so now, what about the following? We said three, if the dimensions are four by eight, you have to be chayish that it's a cemetery. Matzah Shleisha, you find three. Ha'echad Yidua, one was well known. Ushnayim Tchila and two, hey, lo and behold, you didn't know about it. I changed the Gersa, Echot Tchila, and Shnayim you do in. One you didn't know about, and two you did know about. So Yesh Lehem Tfusa, they, they, meaning when you exhume them, you could take you have to take the earth with you. However, the Ain Lehem Shkunas Kavras, despite the fact that it's three in the dimensions of four by eight. Since you didn't know about it, right? It doesn't have the Nishkunas Kavras, which makes no sense whatsoever. Makes no sense whatsoever. If you look at Taisus, guys, Echad Yidu Ishnaim, who might say, Ata Betchila, English Kunas Kavras, says Taisus, Rashbam Perish, Allah Hamash Misinai. That's the easy way out, right? Rashbam says, Allah Hamash Misinai. Once Allah Hamash Misinai, then what? Then, in other words, the din of Shkunas Kavras is only three, two possibilities. Three you did know. Or three, you did know. Three, you. In other words, <laughs> this this statement that you can exhume the bodies or can't exhume the bodies because the shchanis kavras has to fill two. All three have to be the same. They have to be three bodies that you didn't know about, or three bodies that you did know about. But if if it's lacking one of them, meaning one of them you didn't know about, but two you did, or vice versa, two you didn't, and one you did, then you're not going to say that alacha. Continues the Gemara. Let's see. My sab Rabbi Yesheva of Shabbat Gumatsa Shnaim Yiduim the Echad Tchila Ubike Shlasai San Shakunis Kavras. He wanted to make it one into a cemetery. So Amalai Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva told him, Kol Shi Yagata Lirik Yagata. You any older that you worked so hard on this sugya to go ahead, you got the lyric, like Amushkunis Kavras, Ella Legimal Yiduim, Ayla Shlaisha Tchila. We only said it. When, by three that are, no, are known or three that are not known. That's where Bikiva gives us the guidelines of, of this the Pashtus. This makes sense. The Sinai, that would be the guidelines. Okay, that would be the guidelines. Now, it said, you take them and you take the Tfusa. Now, Heiki Dami is kind of funny. That's, this is a Lushan classic. Heiki Dami, how's Tfusa? What does that mean, how's Tfusa? But I mean, that, that's not what we're asking. We're asking, how do you know there's a dinner Tfusa? How, how do you know there's how do you know there's a din of Tfusa, guys, right? Yeah. And, like Minani Mili type. It should, the, the rush has a different gear, sir. The rush is Goyris. Pierish. Um, how do you know that you have to take the earth with him? How do you know you have to, not like Minani Mili, how do you know that you have to take the earth with him? That's the way the rush learns Pshat. So I'm Yehuda Amakra, when Yaakov goes ahead and and tells, tells, Yosef to go ahead but, and take him out of Mitzrayim. What does he tell him? Unasasani mi Mitzrayim. You'll carry me out of Mitzrayim. What does that mean? Mi, mi Mitzrayim. Tul imi, take a shtickle lot, Mitzrayim with me. 
In other words, when you take me out, Mimitzrayim, which is extra, right? What, 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 you tell me, take me out, take me out. Now, guys, it's a Pella. Yaakov was never buried in Mitzrayim. Yaakov was never buried in Mitzrayim that you should take Tfusa out with him, right? He never was buried in Mitzrayim that you should take a Tfusa out with him. He said, right? So, what, what, so what's the shot over here? If he wasn't buried in Mitzrayim, what's the shot? Okay. I ain't into some came He didn't even want to be buried even for a second in Mitzrayim. So again, you're being a riot from he didn't want to not only take me out of Mitzrayim, he didn't want to be buried in a second in Mitzrayim. Then Kane, He was never buried there. And Tysus and Tysus Yantavias the Kasha. So he brings Uber Tysus Chadoshim Tiritz. That's the explanation of the Pasuk. Shime Eze Siba, Titstarach Likvar Lefishdob in Mitzrayim. And if for any reason you have to bury me, even, my, 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 uh, even for a moment in Mitzrayim, Hari Kishetalo I see Likfura, Tikach in Mitzrayim, hand me off in Mitzrayim. If for every reason, in other words, it wasn't, he never was, but he's saying if he was, now he says Tysus Chadoshim, I also found it, the Ritvan Baba Basu Kafalaf also says the same thing. So that, that's the oh, yeah, never was buried in Mitzrayim. It's not the Kasha. They wanted to bury it. So he thought that, that maybe eventually when the Gula, they'd have to take me out with right. What? The Mitzrayim wanted Yaakov. Yeah, by the Zara. Maybe they're going to force him to be buried and they'll take him out by the Gula. Actually, Gula keeps saying Yaakov. That's why he's, that's maybe that's why Yaakov said. No, he, he has to be buried. Again, he, 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 whatever it is, he wanted to be buried. He, he, he said, e even if I have to be buried, in other words, maybe, maybe Yaakov uh, Yosef wouldn't be able to go ahead and force the issue. So either way. But the bottom line is, is that we learned from Yaakov that Yaakov said, "Take a piece of Mitzrayim with me." Fascinating. Now, the Kamashiat Tfusa. Now, how much? How much do you got to take, guys? How much do you got to take? So, Pirish Rebbe Olaza ben Pedas. This is the Amoira, guys. Rebbe Olaza ben Pedas. Noitel offer tichuach. Take an offer that is soft. The chayfer bibsula gimlet spois and the and the and the the harka bisula means it hasn't been worked, right? You have to take three at boys. We'll say that what that the moil of the mace, the liquid, the fluid of the mace would go ahead one and be and absorbed in that much, and you'd have to take that amount. That 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 amount you'd have to take. So that, that's what Rabbi Lazar and Padas said. Now, Rabbi Lazar and Padas is an Amoy. You can't argue with the Tana. Mace is not going to say Kasha. The Kama Shiat Fusa, Pirish Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Sadik, the Tana, Rabbi Lazar and Sadik, Noitel Esak Kismin. You take the splinters, right? You take the splinters from the coffin, the eshak sasais, and the clumps of earth, the zarkun esavadoyin, and you throw away the ones that vadai had no nothing to do with the mace, umeniach esasvekais, and you leave what the ones that that you misupik that maybe they have absorbed some of the mace, the hashar mitstarif, and the rest is mitstarif loiv binyan shall mace the majority of the Bones of the mace, Ularoi Vat Samais, and the, and the quarter of a Kavat Samais that we saw earlier, that's Matama, to, to, and then Aziris, and, and Lamoli Tarvi Rakov. And it's going to be, and go ahead and, and be add to the Moli Tarvi Rakov. That's a Kasha, and we'll see in a second. So, you, know, so you got a Kasha. The bottom line is, doesn't say anything about three fingers worth in the ground, right? And, for the, and he can, and Rebel Lazar and Padas can argue on a Tana. So, and for the one who Rebbe Lazar ben Padas, the Amakei Aitana, he found the Tana goes according to Tanya. The Kama Shiat Tfusa. What's the Shiat Tfusa? I'm Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri, guys. Guys, if we be Rabbi Yochanan the Amoyri, you didn't gain anything, right? Yeah. And again, yeah. you, always, you always have to keep the name straight. Look at the bottom places, guys. That Lav Hain Rabbi Yochanan ha Amoyra El Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. Right, the bottom places tells you this is Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. Right, Mishum ben Azai Noit Olaf Etichuach VeChayfer Besula Shalosh Etzpois. So Rav Lozim and Padis is telling you the sheet of what of of Rav of Rav Yochim and Nuri. He had a tana that he went according to, so he can argue on on Rav Rav ben Ben Tzadik. Okay, what's the kasha, guys? Let's go back in time. Mole Tarvid Rokov, right? What what is that? We say Mole Tarvid Rokov is is corpse dust. What the Oscar types is corpse dust. What it is is the decayed corpse, but it's got to be pure decayed cor corpse. We said what's the Echetimsa? A, you had to be buried orum. You had to be buried without any any tachrichin. 
be, you had to be buried in a coffin that was made out of marble, so you wouldn't have any what, anything blown in. And over here, what did you say? Well, whatever goes ahead and is uh, is is um, it decayed will go ahead and be mitzaref to Malay Tavid Raka, which lecharei makes no sense whatsoever. Of course, then that's not, you have mixtures over here, right? You're mixing in all different. We call it Gilgilin, Gilgilin, all different types of things. So the rush, I found the rush was bothered by this kasha, and the, I have the rush on the other side of the page, and he says Malay Tavid Raka. I don't know what side you could have. In, you could have in, on the first front side. I have on the back side of the days. And he says, Moli Tavid Rakov, he going Shenikvar Hamates Orum, Borin, he was taka buried, Orum, in an Orum Shoshais, the Niftach Orumi Tachtov, and it broke from underneath. The Yotzer Markavois of Derecha Pesach, for Shetia Orumi Tachtov, who's Suffolk. Then he offered that's found below is a Suffolk. However, the Mirkois of Hamates, but Nimsa Besech Orum, but that is finding the Orum itself, who Vada him at Star of Kulo Yachad, him Moli Tavid Rakov. In other words, you find you have, let's say, you had the shayish. So he was buried. He had all the components. A, he was buried without clothing. B, he was buried in a in a in a, in a coffin of marble. If the bottom broke, I guess it wasn't totally marble. Right? The, the bottom broke, and therefore whatever you find inside the coffin could be malitavid rakov. That would go ahead to be, avoid this problem. The bottom line is we have a sugi. What does the sugi say so far? We have that. We have this mace. We should find a mace that's buried beakroy. You could take the tfusa, you could take the earth that he's buried with, you can consume the body, because he's not kind of a kaimai, because it was haphazardly, you happen to find him there, right? You have to find him there. If, however, you find three Jews in a dimension of four by eight, and they're buried, mushkov, they're buried what, in a way that's normally buried, and they're buried that, that they're not horrid, you know, they're, they're not missing any limbs or anything, then it's going to be, any of those not fulfilled, then it's not, it's not, it's not going to be considered a shkunis karvis, a base oilam, um, and what's Tfusa, we said that the, all the loose earth around it, plus un un virgin earth of uh, three ex boys below, according to the Amoy Rolaza Ben Tadas. Okay, we said if you do find the four by eight, boy de kimenu, boy de kimenu, you have to check up to 20. Now, the Badika guys was done. I saw one Amma, you checked, you skipped an Amma, one Amma, you checked, you skipped an Amma. So basically, you, only had to take, you didn't check all 20 Amas, you checked every 10 Amas, and you would check down to. Uh, to the, until you got to earth that hasn't been been dug yet. Amarava, let's say Bada Gupana. Let's say you checked guys and you found the body, Upana, and you went ahead and you and you exhumed the body. Badak, you you uh, you were Badak, Upana, and you removed the body. Badak, you went ahead and you Ba'ashkech and you found the third one. So now you got a problem. In other words, you 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 run into the first one. Notice you have no way of knowing there's going to be a third. So what did you do? You exhumed the first one, with you exhumed the second one, and hello, what do you find? You find you have a shnuskavis. Now, what do you do? Do this, this two possibilities, or three possibilities. <laughs> first possibility, you do not return the offer, the, the 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 first two bodies. You don't exhume the third body. That's one, good. Or you return the first two, and you don't exhume the third, or you exhume the third. Why you exhume the third is his pop, but, but we're going to see it as a day. Anyway, so, says, says, says the Gemara, what, what do you do? Loi hai mafti le legabe hanach trev, le hanach trev legabe hai, meaning the first two you keep as is, first two guys you keep as is, and the third one you, you meaning the first two you don't return, and the, first, and the third one you don't exhume, Right, and that's what you do. That's the first opinion. Once you had rishus to go ahead, what and exhum, you know what you do? They take the third one out as well. Again, the Allah must be Sinai, right? So maybe this is part of the Allah must be Sinai. You exhum the third one as well, says the Gemara. One second, I don't understand. <laughs> How can you exhum the third one? You should make it a shunus kavras. Some Rish Lakish, Ila Matsu, they found an excuse, the Tirir to Yisrael. They found the Kula to be Makel. They found the Kula to be Makel. And so they were, they were Makel. They, they were Makel. I say, very, very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Okay, says the Gemara Vaita, Bodak me Esamama of Matsumai. What? <laughs> if you go ahead and you're Bodak Esamama and you don't find anything, are the first three Ashkunas Karvas or not? Guys. 
What do we listen? Let, let, God, what do we say? You have three in a dimension of four by eight. Good. You have three in a dimension of four by eight. You check in all directions. You didn't find anything. Those those three have a dinner shunas chavis and you can't touch them. Or no, since you didn't find in all directions twenty, you can exhume the bodies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know you check. In other words, we were checking. Maybe it's a graveyard. We, if it was a graveyard, we assume you would have found the mace within the perimeter of 40, 20 amis. You didn't find any mason. So now, going back to the three that you found, maybe they, was it Akroy, they were buried that way, and therefore you could exhume their bodies, or no, we say they are their own little what? You know, graveyard, a little churchyard that they find, the graveyard next to the, the church. Anyway, Elena. Says the Gemara, uh, my Amar of Menashe, Bar Yirmiya, Amar of Shunas Kavras. Those three, don't touch them. Don't touch them, Shunas Kavras, don't touch them. And the rest of the Gemara don't be garbage. We're going back. Okay. Okay. Now, there's two ways to do the next piece of Gemara. I'm going to do it the hard way. Okay. okay. Now, uh, I asked the current person because I need I need the chizuk be a tire because tomorrow morning I'm going for surgery. That's if you want to know, it's the truth. I need the chizuk. I'm going in tomorrow for surgery. I want to see my guys before I go in. And that's the only reason. You must know. Is that too much information for you? <laughs> Should we order Meisner's and bring it to the hospital? But don't order Meisner's bring to the hospital. I don't want anything, okay? Don't order Meisner's bring here. <laughs> okay, anyway. Says the Gemara. Kol Any Nagoyim that you have not been established as a Mitzoyra, and then you have a doubt, is Tahar. At Shalainiskek Latuma. But once, once Mishinisk Latuma, once you're Tame, then Suffolk Sveke Tame. So to understand this Mishnah, I could just say simply say one second. Any suffix, if you if you're suffix toma, you're tar, and the suffix you stay in tar, tar. Okay, that's the easy way out. This Mishnah, guys, is a mission in the Goyim. When was the last time you opened up Nagoyim? Right? This is a mission in the Goyim Perik Hey, and it's Mishnah Dalit. Listen to this. Now, the in order to be a Mitsaira, you have to have certain yeah, a certain size and have to have certain color and certain amount of hair. You need different things. If the coin does not have all the components. He's going to put you away, and you'll be what's called a musker, right? You'll be musker to wait seven days, and then we check. One of the simon in that your your, your mitzayra is if it grows larger, right? One of the simon is if it grows larger. Yes, good. Now, with that in mind, call something that I'm with the tar. Actually, it's going on. Ketzad shnayim shebau etzel kayen. Two people to come to a kayen. Bazer baheres kigris. He has a baheres, which is a possible mitzayra, the size of a gris. Uh, let's say a dime, ubezek a seller, and the other one has a seller, but they're missing the other components, guys. So what does he do? The safe shvua, bezek a seller, ubezek a seller. He puts them away, and now one of them clearly is mitzayri. You know why? Because it grew from a gris to a seller. The other one remained the same, right? But the problem is, then you do a beizin and pasa. He doesn't know which one is the one that what that it that 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 it was the mitzayri, guys. One of them has the simon of Mitzvah. Why? Because it grew, correct? That's the simon. After your muska, he's going to check a second week if he finds it bigger. He, and he did. Uh, but what? What chazak do these guys have? Tahar, they weren't right. Uh, so now, the ain you do a beis of Mimpasa, bein beish echa, bein beishnei anashim, tahar. Okay, tahar. That's the, that's the first case. Good. Next case. Mishinisgik letumis sveikai tami keitzad. The same way. Good. At the end of the week, so therefore what? They're both, or both. <laughs> they're, they're, they're both with and Guys, guys, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. They come, one was a seller, one was a gris. At the end of the week, they were both seller void. So each one grew. So both are what mitzrayim. However, he doesn't know which one, right? Even though what? Now they went back. One, they went back to the size of a seller. So one of them clearly is tahar. Nonetheless, since they were chazak of tami, they tami. So that's that's the mission over here. So now, says the mishnah, kol sopik negoyim betchila tahar actually niskak letuma. Right? In, in this case, you don't know which one. They came with cheskas taira. Right? We don't know which one. However, once they won this six Latoma, they grew, they both grew and they both Tame. Therefore, once you get Latoma, Sveika, Tame, we don't know which one it is that, that, that went down, it's going to be Tame. 
Now, Minani Mili, this is a real Minani Mili. Um, Rabbi Yehuda um, Rav, says Rabbi Yehuda in the name of Rav. Says Rabbi Yehuda in the name of Rav. What does it say? The Pusik says, Zois Tairas Negat Saras. And it goes through for you. It's a, it's a summary in your clothing, in your, in your, and then it says, Litaroi or Litamoi. So, what's the first thing it says in the Pusik? It says, Litaroi or Litamoi. The first thing it says, the Mitar, and then it says, the Mitama. So, says the Gemara, since it begins with Taroi, Hailu Pusik by Akosiv Betaira Tchila, right? Since the Torah began with Taira Tchila, when you're in doubt, you'll be Tahar. The Gemara, the obvious question, if that's the case, since the Pasuk was open, open with with Tar, even in the second latter case where you're suffering, it should be Tahar. So, therefore, the Gemara does not give us a reason. The Gemara now goes and jumps to how to dash this Pasuk, and we'll get back to the first part of the Gemara in a second. So, again, what was that quest to find out where do you know that Suffolk Tuma is? is and Suffolk, where it's it's Tame Yemachmir. Where do we know that from? We try from this Pusik, it doesn't come from this Pusik. What does this Pusik use for? That's what we're going to say right now. When the Pusik, if you have a Chazak, you're showing the Pusik. But again, we, we, we can learn a Pusik again, because one of them, maybe it's the Chazaki here, is, it, there's a little race in this Chazaka, right? There's a race in the Chazaka, because one of these guys, Vada, is, is Tame. So now, says the Gemara. Um says says the Gemara, Vaita, why are we gonna use this Pasuk? Well, itmar. Amrav uh Amrav Yehuda Elaki Itmar Elaki Itmar, the Rav Yehuda Marav, the Pasik of, of using this Pasik, Aha Itmar, apply it to the following. Now the, the halach is that the before the here, you have to have the Beheris, you have to have the scare before the here. In Beheris Kadma say a love and tame, and say a love and kadma beheris tahar. But vice versa, it's tahar. Suffolk, if you doubt which came first, Tamei, the Rishua Mekeya, Kei is Lashen, my Kea, I'm Rabbi Yehuda, Kei of Atar, it's tahar. The Dilma Kei of Atamei, how can it be Kei of Atamei? It's that's Tanakama, Taisa Zestakasha, Tanakama will be Suffolk, this will be Vadai, or vice versa. I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm a Rav, I'm a Kroh, the Taroi, the Tamei, Hoyle, Pasa, Bakasa, Betaira, Tchila. Right there, you know why you're tahar? Because since you're in doubt which came first, this is what you're going to use it for. Okay, so what's the source? What's the source for this Tama? So the the rush is also on the other side of the page. The rush quotes to Bataris Kahanim, Darish Le Mikra. Right? It says, Vitime Isoi, Esavadai, Vitime Isoi. And then we dash him. What does Vitime Isoi mean? Esavadai hu mitama. Only the Vadai is the Kayim mitama. Pirish. Nega shu Vadai mitama. The Nega that's Vadai is the Kayim mitama. Veloi Koya Gavra, it's not going in the person. Vena mitama is a suffix. So you know, it's not going in the Pusk, it's going on the Nega. Since I don't know for sure this nega, which it is, I can't be metama, guys. You hear? Since I don't know the nega, which one it is, I can't be metama. Okay. However, missionistic Latuma Sveiko, and he brings the case, and then he says, "Umetaris Khanim Darish Le Mikra the Tira Soya Savadai Hu Metar Veina Metar Sasafik." The same thing that the koyin can only go ahead one, and and if 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 if, uh, if it's a vadai mitzayra that he's paskin on the on the nega vadai. He can't go ahead and take it out. And if he passes in Tahar, he can't put it in. That's the puzzle. Okay, it says the let's one, one final Mishnah, Makola today. Beshiva Drachim Baikinis Azov. Seven ways to bite the kiss. Okay, guys, what's Azov? Outside, outside, outside. Outside. Azov and Sheikh Vazera, the Gemara Nida says the two different things. The, it seems the Zov is a different color and it's 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 less, it doesn't have the viscosity of, of Zera. It's, it's it's different. We don't have we don't know, know what it is. A zav who sees one time, one time as the din of a balkari. That means he goes to the mikvah in the morning he's tar, right? He goes to the mikvah in the morning he's tar. If he sees twice, then he's a zav, and he has to count seven days. If he sees three times, he's a, a zav, a zav gadol, and he has to bring the carbon after the seven days. That's the difference. Now it has to be that the the zav came about through a disease rather than a, 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 an outside source. If it came about through an external matter. Then what? Then he's not a zav. That's only in the first two. Really, only when you have to check is, is the second one. The first one is like a balkari. The second one you check. If the second one you check, and we can be toilet in it, we can say it depends upon seven causes. Then the third time, then he won't be a zav. However, after two times, and he's already established as a zav, he's to be becoming a zav the third time to bring the carbon. We even if it's the even if it happens as a result of any one of these things, to whether it's an anus or not, 
he's going to be yourself. So these are seven ways we're checking to see if it's an Aynas or not. The Shiva Joachim Bait Nimas that's of, actually Niskit Lusiva, and that until he didn't become a Zav, in other words, until round number two. The Michael, something could be toilet, say he ate something, uh, some some food. Uva Mishta, we drank some drink. The Masa, he carried a heavy load, that's three. Ukafitsa, he jumped is four. The Khali, his sickness is five. Ubi Mare, he saw a woman, six. Will be here, or even if he didn't see her, but he thought about her. All of these seven ways would be uh, the toilet that anointness that on the second time that he saw, so it would stop him from becoming a zav, right? That would stop that would stop him what from from, from becoming a zav. Again, if you're doing the butika what on 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 the on the seventh time, that would go ahead and and stop him from from becoming a zav. Continues the mishnah. However, mishnah is Once already he's been established as a zav after two times. You don't have to check for the third time because already the third time we're going to say that he is a Zav and we won't be toiler that it brought about because of Ninus. Because the first two times it wasn't as a result of the Ninus. So the third time, okay. Now, on site, let's say he, he checked the seven times, right? Now, what this is the din is once that wow, that he's become a Zav already. So on site, if he, as a result of the Ninus, or Sveikai, Bishik Vazarai, Temeyim. If he suck, the, the Rab says, if he suffered Machmas Sheikh Vazera, let's say he showed Sheikh Vazera first, and afterwards he saw Zav, right? If he did this before, guys, then it would be a Balkari. Once he became a Zav, then no. We'll say, even though the Sheikh Vazera was first, we won't say that what? He's, he's why should I rely on the Dove? And this is why we brought this in. So even though he saw the Zera first, since he, we've already established him as a Zav the first two times, and he sees that even after Zera, he sees the third time Zav, it's Raglai on the Dove that he what is a. Is a Let's finish the Mishnah. Amakes Chaveroi Vamdul the Misa. Person goes ahead, hits his friend, and, and they, they say he's going to die. As a result, the, the, and, and then the Hekel Mima Shahoya Hekel, and he got a little better. Amach Mikan Hifkber the Mesa, and he died again. Chayev, nonetheless, the Makas and the Chayev Misa. In other words, we don't say that why that he got cured and died is a different thing. But Mechemi Oimir Pata, why shall a guy in the Dava that why that that Lachari was better since he got better he didn't die right away from the, this Zerglayim the Dava. And the first time that he's not in the middle. Where's that? That means high new time, and there's a reason to be Tyler. Why are you Tyler? He hit him the first time, and he got that. Does if he would die without anything happening, yeah, yeah. getting better goes ahead and weakens the first time he got hit. Amen.